and library is a rainbow in the clouds. In the worst of times, in the meanest of times, in the dreariest of times, so that at all times, the viewer can see a possibility of hope. Today, the New York Public Library kicked off its summer reading program at the Schwartzman Building in Midtown. I love reading. I've been doing reading since I was a baby. It's really fun because when I read, I get to go on a lot of adventures. The historic Stapleton Library in Staten Island is reopening today after a multi-million dollar facelift. It took three years to complete. New York on Staten Island reporter Amanda Farinacci is there. Get ready to meet River and Dale. That's right. The two stone lion statues at the Riverdale branch of the New York Public Library have been renamed after the library held a naming contest. Later today, the library will announce plans to put its original copy of the historic document on display. The Emancipation Proclamation as a document helped indeed to turn the world right side up. Photographs, costumes, film, and the sound of castanets help tell the story of flamenco dance in New York. It's all part of a new exhibition at the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts at Lincoln Center. And that's what the library is about. We, we share our resources, and I tell the kids all the time, the library is theirs. It belongs to them. Now this library book has finally found its way back home to the Fort Washington Library. Free and open access to information may be the single most important component of any democratic society. I have definitely used the New York Public Library in my research. In fact, I used to actually work there. I can't believe that an average citizen can just walk in, sit down, and, and do her work there. It's, it's such a thrill. I do love libraries. I spent much of my childhood in libraries, and I'm very proud to be here. And uh, thinking about my uh, early days growing up in the South Bronx, and the Hunts Point Library was my library on Southern Boulevard. It's this little library around the corner. And for me and my sister, it made all the difference in the world. Parents couldn't afford books. Schools weren't equipped. But the public library did it. Don't ever stop. No matter what comes along, electronics, just remember there's a kid in the South Bronx who needs the library.